we have this 2009 project and the most inquiry I got was from this parametric escalator. So let me show you how this was done. Let's start with a family generic model. We'll create all these reference planes based on the measurements of the cut sheets. The first dimension with a parameter is this horizontal run. So we'll give it a parameter of escalator horizontal run. Then we go to the front elevation and for the height it will be 18 foot 6 for now. And we're going to give it a parameter of floor to floor height. And start a reference plane for the angle of the escalator from the bottom landing making it 30 degrees. We're going to lock that into a parameter called escalator slope. Now we're going to get the escalator horizontal run plane to lock onto the intersection of the top of the run and the escalator slope. Let's go and take that dimension off from the plan and put it on the elevation. To get that measurement, we will create a formula of floor to floor height divided by the tangent of the escalator slope and then close the argument with parentheses. And so now you can see those three reference planes intersecting at the top of the landing. Now we can make our first extrusion, which will be the mechanical equipment shell. Lock the lines onto the reference planes. Looking at the cut sheets again, offset the lines based on the overall measurements. Trim together, and then let's give it a material named mechanical shell. Go to the plan, locked into the outmost reference planes. On 3D view, test to see if they flex. The next thing we'll do here is to establish the length of the railing curve. Let's temporarily freeze the shell and we will create the curve where the glass rail will be sitting on. Create extrude. Lock the lines to the reference planes and do an offset by a foot. Then go to the plan and lock them on the same exterior reference planes. Now we need the void for the space between the curves. Let's hide the shell again.
will trace the bottom run of this extrusion for the path. Now go to the right elevation and create the void profile of a 42 inch clearance. Now you have two curves. Let's start the glass rails. First, create equally measured reference planes for the glass rails and name them as center line handrail right and center line handrail left. Now we can start making the glass rail. Start an extrusion and let's trace the top of the curve. and offset those lines for the glass height. Connect them all by trimming. We'll do the same thing for the bottom part. On 3D view, Change the work plane of this glass rail to the center line handrail left and give it a half inch offset to both sides. Set the material to glass and let's test it again. Now we'll do the same thing for the glass rail on the right side, repeating the same process. and then check to see if they flex.
Now for the handrail which goes on top of the glass. It traces the edge of the glass rail, so we will just lock the path to the edge of the glass. For the profile, we will do it in the right elevation. We will make all these reference lines to make the handrail profile. Then mirror it to the other side and give it some reference dimensions. And let's look at it on 3D. Now let's start the thread and riser. We'll make the steps as a separate family. It will be a 3 foot 6 wide by 1 foot 6 deep step. Go to the front elevation view and extrude its profile. Check it in 3D. Save it and load it to the project. You can drop it anywhere. And let's lock the edge to the bottom landing and to the center line of the escalator. Going to the 3D view, you won't see it because it's still within the mechanical shell. Let's hide that, and we're going to create a shaft for these steps. But before we do that, we'll array the steps. Hide everything first. Select the step. Nudge it down a bit, then let's lock it to the reference plane. Now click on Array, Last, and Lock. Let's go to the plan and change the view range so we could see the top thread. Lock this end step to the reference plane and center line of the escalator. Give this count a parameter of number of steps.
for the formula of the number of steps, measure the depth of the step, which is 1 foot 6. Go to Types. On the formula, copy the floor to floor height divided by sine of the escalator slope divided by 1 foot 6. Now the array is complete. Next, create the void sweep on the mechanical shell to make the steps appear. Trace the reference plane to create the path. And then give a dimension for the landing, so 4 foot 6. Go to the right elevation and create the profile of the void. Now we need to fill the bottom landing with three steps. Drop three of them here. Lock them onto the center line on the edges. Go to the upper landing and do the same thing with two steps and lock them in the center line. Click OK. In the front elevation, lock them to the top of the landing. Now go back to the 3D view and test it again. Okay, that works. And there you have it. Now let's save the family and load it to a project. In the front elevation, change the floor to floor height, 24 feet, and then do the same thing on the escalator, and there you have it, a parametric escalator.